this week, I need to finish this fence. I need to do something. I ate all of my tomato plants, like literally all of them. The chain fell off the debarker right away. Eight months ago, we bought 18 acres of raw, untouched land to build our dream home and homestead from start to finish. By the way, this is Simple Living with Fiata. This week, I'm going to build our fence for our homestead. I've been putting this off and now the deer have come into my garden and ate 44 of my tomato plants. So it's time to stop procrastinating and get this fence done. This morning, I'm going to be working on getting as many posts debarked as possible. And if you've watched my previous fence and debarking videos, you know I've had a really hard time. Yeah, so that didn't work out. It just, the chain fell off right away. This is going to be hopefully my third and final try at getting this debarker working properly. I bought myself a new part because last time the part was making the chain and the whole debarker and the bar fall off of my chainsaw. Just kidding, I need that. <laughs> I'll use it for another one without such a heavy debarker on it. But this one's ring right here is a lot stronger looking. This one is a lot more bent. So that's why the debarker hasn't been able to stay on properly. So hopefully it works because I don't have a draw knife. Okay, let's get started. Yeah, I need to put this guy on. Good. Time to fuel up. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. Ah, I always do that. To start, I'm gonna go through this pile and see which ones would be best for the post. And then I'm gonna sort them as well to see which ones would be best to go horizontal between the posts. In this pile, I have grand firs, I have maples, and I have hemlocks. Hemlocks are not a good option because they rot really easily when they're exposed to water. I also have cedars in another pile, which I know are the best option. It's just some of them aren't necessarily the right size. The chain fell off the debarker right away. <laughs> Hopefully it was just too loose. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> My chainsaw does not sound overly healthy, but now that the blades are getting more dull, it's actually working better and taking less of the wood off of the log and just taking off the bark with a little bit of wood. So I've peeled as many logs as I think I'm going to need. And what I'm gonna do is torch the ends and get them covered in that black char because that helps protect the log from rotting. The issue is we have an all out fire ban in our area right now. So I brought them up to where our wood stove is, but I think what I'm gonna be doing is going out and buying a blowtorch and just blow torching the ends on our driveway because I think that would be the safest bet. So now I'm gonna measure out where I want the posts. I'm going to be digging the holes for the posts that are going to be in front of the house. Now this is not going to stay this way. We are eventually going to have the fence come straight up to the side of the house, but we don't have a house yet, so we can't do that. Wow, <laughs> I've only dug one hole so far and we have a lot of bedrock along that ridge. So I think I'm gonna have a lot of issues digging these holes. Technically, these holes should be dug four feet down. The issue is that if I were to rent a post hole auger, I'd be running into a lot of roots and a lot of rocks. The other thing is that the posts are not tall enough and the deer would be able to jump over them if I put the posts four feet down. Good morning, I am back today and a couple of things. 
I was driving by my town's fire sign and we don't have a fire band. So today I'm gonna use free fuel, which is wood. I'm gonna get burning these post ends to help protect them from the elements. It's just so beautiful this morning. So I have my fire going and it's time to get these logs burning. My chimney's on fire. <laughs> Charring the ends of the posts is actually a really cool old school method to help protect the wood from rotting as quickly. This was used a lot before there was pressure treated lumber and before people started coating their posts with chemicals. It's not sunny this morning because I am so hot. Okay, I have to go get more kindling. I'm trying to burn down as much just like brush as I can just to make the landscape a little bit more clean um, and less susceptible to forest fires. Deer came for a visit. I don't think she cares that I'm here. Maybe that's why she went into my garden. She's so curious. <laughs> Hi! I wonder if she'll take a snack from me. I have a peach. She looks hungry and alone. I'm covered in stuff. I have all of my fence posts, at least mostly charred, but I'm gonna torch the very bottoms a little bit more because I had a hard time getting the bottom of the logs to get charred. So I'm gonna get started on this. Okay, I think I've got this. <laughs> it said do not force many times. Open valve fully by turning adjustment knob. What the heck? Well, maybe I should go put it up to something and see if it's actually gonna do anything. Well, that blowtorch did absolutely nothing. Okay, I'm gonna have to get this fire going again and just try to sear the bottom of the post a little bit better. Wow, I'm filthy. I'm gonna get as many posts as I can in the ground. First of all, I need to collect rocks to put around the base of the holes and around the side of the post before I fill the dirt back in. This is because the least amount of dirt touching the pole, the better. The reason we're not doing concrete is because these are not the permanent locations for these posts. This is just the solution for a year to protect our crops so anyways, time to get at least some posts up before the end of the day. It's not perfect. There we go, first one done. Okay, I'm on day number four now of this fence. I have two posts in the ground and I have nine more to go. Let's do this. Well, we have our snapper back, this time in the build site. <laughs> Okay, the turtle's back in the water. I have to cut a couple of these posts for aesthetics <laughs> so that they look a little bit more even going down the fence line, but uh, it's not gonna be perfect. Hey, the posts are up. Time to get some rest tonight and I'll see you tomorrow. I'm back this morning and today I'm gonna be putting sticks across the posts. I think that's the way I'm gonna go about doing it. I have some ladders here, I'm gonna pull those out and I'm going to get sorting and see if any of the sticks that I have are long enough to go across the posts that I have up. 
I'm gonna try to not be a perfectionist with this. I have a level, but none of the sticks are level to begin with, so I don't think I'm gonna use it. I think I'm gonna eyeball it with the topography of the land. Okay, I have the two beams, the one going across the bottom, the one going across the top, and I'm trying to figure out whether I want the rest to go vertical in between those two beams. This could be helpful because the sticks don't have to be as long. I think what I'm gonna do is do them all horizontal. If I did the sticks vertically, I would have to do a lot of them so the deer couldn't slip through, so this saves on time and energy. almost done this one panel it's taken me forever i stripped the drill bit and i brought an extra pack of drill bits but i guess the one that i thought would fit does not fit the screws so i'm gonna go waste some gas money and drive to home depot and go pick up a new set of drill bits and also ones to like drill a pilot hole so that it's a little bit easier to drill the screw into the wind Okay, I have my pack of drill bits and I'm gonna go get myself a treat and then go back to the property. I'm back, it's time to get this done. <laughs> This is just way more difficult than I thought it would be with just one person. So I might have to come back here tomorrow with my husband to finish it up because <laughs> this is not working by myself. It's way too tall and the landscape is just too bumpy for me to be able to even set up a ladder properly. So, <sighs> oh well, at least it started. The only thing I'm not gonna do is just the top ones, I think, until I can get my husband here to help. I really wanted to finish the fence today. I tried my best. I got four done, which is, I guess, okay. Well, it's a Saturday. I brought my husband here with me to help me get some of these taller pieces up. We only have a few hours, but hopefully we can get a little bit more done. Okay, so I have to find beams, I guess, to go across these posts. And so I'm gonna go through my pile to make sure that I have some that are long enough. Okay, so for the one section, we've run out of long enough sticks. I'm gonna cut some more trees down because there's some maples that I have to take down for the future and get some more beams to go in between the posts. Done. We're gonna come back tomorrow with our daughter, finish these off. She can go on the trampoline and uh, it's looking good. So we're gonna put a beam across this big opening here so that I can put in some doors. And that way it's supported at the top. <laughs> Need help? I mean, probably. Uh, quick try not to work on Sundays, but Saturdays and Sundays are the only days that I can get help with my husband. So we're here, our daughter's with us. Cam's gonna keep working on the fence because this little one can't play by herself. But we're almost done, so only a few more to go. Ah. <laughs> oh my. There's no way I'm getting up. <laughs> Quick sand. So it's not perfect, it's a very rustic, <laughs> but it works for the next year. I still have to build the gate for this section and I still have to do the section between the tree over there. One sec. 
but that's what we were able to accomplish in a week. And as always, like, subscribe, and comment. I'd love to hear from you, and we'll see you next week. Bye.